<laughs> what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel all about real estate. My name is Lewis and today's video is going to blow your mind. Home price reductions are up 1000% in my area alone. That is right. You heard that correctly. They are up tenfold and we're starting to see this across the board. So in today's video, I'm going to show you a tool that I use on Redfin that actually walks you through step by step how to look at price reductions in your area. And it is really eye opening. Now, if you are new to the channel and you like all things finance, real estate and investing, please consider hitting that like button and that subscribe button right there. And if you haven't done so in the past, please consider commenting. It really helps me as well as others learn and grow. Without further ado, let's jump right to Redfin and look at this data. All right, so up on the screen, I have redfin.com. And like I said, these price reductions are up in my area, which is Northern California, Sacramento market. However, you can use this tool across the board. It doesn't necessarily have to be this market. I'm gonna click on Sacramento County. I wanna look at the county as as a whole. So it pulls up every home or every property that's listed for sale. And all you have to do is go ahead and click on all filters. I want to scroll down on the side here and I want to look at single family homes only. Now you can see here in the corner that there are 1,725 single family homes listed for sale in Sacramento County. Now, as you continue to scroll down, you're going to be looking for a little checkbox that says price reduced. You go ahead and click on price reduced. And this um, shows there's a little drop down and says in the last day. I want to look at how many price reductions there has been in the last 30 days alone. So if you click on the drop down, go ahead and click on in the last 30 days and you can see that it says C357 homes in the lower right hand corner here. So as I mentioned, there were 1728 active single family homes for sale. And now we know that in the last 30 days, we've seen 357 price reductions. That's actually 20% of the market. So one out of every five homes has actually seen a price reduction in the last 30 days. Now here's where it gets really fascinating. If we go ahead and flip the tab to more than 30 days, so now we're going to compare how many price reductions we saw in the last 30 days versus more than 30 days. So if you click more than 30 days, you can see here that we have only seen 38 homes over a month old see any price reductions. So that means that in the last 30 days alone, we have seen an increase by a thousand percent as far as price reductions are concerned. So th more than 30 days ago, we saw 38 homes that saw price reductions. In the last 30 days, we saw 357. This is a huge, huge increase in the level of price reductions that we are seeing, especially in the last 30 days and especially going into the peak selling season here, which is the late spring and early summer. So this data is super eye opening. And I think we're really finally starting to see that the increase in interest rates is starting to affect the housing market because it always does it at a lag. And I think there are many sellers that punched their house out at a high price just because they knew the market was hot, but they weren't adjusting for the changes that we're seeing with these interest rates. So homes are starting to sit a little bit longer. Maybe they were priced incorrectly to begin with. And as a result, we're starting to see more and more price reductions. So um, like I said, this tool can be found on redfin.com. I actually discovered this watching a video that um, ReVenture Consulting put out. If you haven't watched their videos, you really should. He puts out some incredible data. He's all over YouTube. Um, anyway, that's what I'm seeing here in the Sacramento market. We're starting to see a lot of price reductions. We're going to continue to monitor it to see how it unfolds. But why don't you take a look at your market or your county? and see what's going on there and leave that information in the comments below. Again, your comments really help me as well as others learn and grow. Now, if you haven't done so already, please consider liking and subscribing. We'll see you on the next video.